Hi, today I'm going to talk about EFI BIOS. What is EFI BIOS? Um, it's the latest BIOS interface that features uh, mouse navigation and also better graphical looking than the usual ones before. And uh, the, in front of me we have the PA series from ASUS and on this board we features the EFI BIOS. Um, EFI means Extendable uh, Firmware Interface and today we're going to play a little bit around with the uh, new EFI BIOS and give you a little heads up and, and looking on the, what what's look like with the EIF BIOS. Okay. I'm going to start my computer. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can take a look at closer. Okay, so this is the first look that you see of the EFI BIOS on this board. Um, on the first page, it is very uh, informational uh, panel that shows you basically the time on the top of the BIOS. And time, date, and temperature, CPU temperature, motherboard temperature, and also the model of the board, and the BIOS version, and the CPU type, and the voltage, the CPU voltage, as well as the speed, Everything fan speed, you know, CPU speed. I notice there's also a, uh, you know, drop down menu with says English on it. But of course, we could use a mouse click and we could choose whatever the language we would prefer. So, Chinese. So now everything is in Chinese. So it's more, you know, user friendly than before. Easier to look at it. Okay. So back to English. It's a default language. Okay. All right. So and. Zoom out a little bit, and so on the second column, um, the sim symbol graphical interface is which what kind of a system performance you would like to use for this uh, system. Uh, you could pick a normal, or you could pick something that is energy saving and also uh, very very fast or power saving so what you could pick the mode that you like like the EPU features if you put, pick a power saving mode then the system will basically shut down some some sort of uh, extra power to save some you know power usage on your system so we can pick each one of those and on the bottom of it, we have uh, another feature. You know, you could pick which one you want the system boot up first. You want a hard drive boot up first, or you want a CD-ROM to boot up first during the startup. So in this time, I'm gonna pick CD-ROM first, and we could. 
and we can also pick boot menu in case you want the CD ROM to boot right now you can just click on it and then you will boot the CD ROM right, right away right. so it's enough with the uh, symbol interface and now I'm gonna show you with a little bit with the advanced features so on the top of the menu you can pick advanced so go to an advanced graphical interface so the advanced graphical interface you know the user can basically trigger a little bit more uh, with the BIOS for example they can um, you know pick the uh, AI uh, overclock you know panels with more uh, option on it so you can do auto or manual or uh, XMP so it's we could do manual at this time and on the uh, in the next column could do like the BCL key frequency right now is 100 we could change it something to 101 or whatever and uh, uh, the RAM frequency in this case you know we could pick whatever the RAM frequency you want to use for this board right now inside of it we could you know uh, pick the timing blah 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 there's a lot of uh, features a lot of uh, uh, options that you could pick according to your need and then we can go advanced under advanced we have a CPU configuration blah 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 so it's it's very similar to the old BIOS interface in step this is very it's uh, it's very easy to navigate it by using the mouse and also it's better looking interface too but Feature wise, there's all pretty much the same. And monitors. So you can monitor your temperature, you monitor your um, CPU fan speed, etc. So everything is there. And then now I can use my mouse to point at everything on, on the option that I want to you know, switch. Boot. Here on the special, the main menu. Okay. And uh, after I finish the setting, I could just click exit. And I can say I want to save it or don't save it. Okay. start